Happy holidays, everyone! Welcome to Help Though. In keeping with the festive season, let's work on a topic related to celebrating holidays with family. In this video, we're going to share a walkthrough for the IELTS Speaking Part 2. Remember, in this part of the speaking exam, the examiner will hand you a prompt and then you must answer the questions in a one to two minute monologue. The examiner will follow up with one or two questions on the same topic. Part two takes three to four minutes in total. You have one minute to prepare for the speaking part two section. If you're struggling to speak for one to two minutes, remember the six W's technique. What, why, who, when, where, and how. If you want to learn more about the six W's technique, click on the link down below. Here is our example prompt, celebrating holidays. What is your favorite holiday you celebrated as a child with your family? What did you and your family do on that day? Why was it memorable? Did you and your family prepare any special foods or drinks? Do you think it's important to celebrate holidays with extended family members? Before the examiner starts the timer, you'll be given one minute to write down some notes on a piece of paper to help you guide your talk. Use this time wisely to make bullet points to answer each of the questions on the prompt. Then the other version is to incorporate the talking points. Now I'm going to give a sample response. Pay attention to how the story develops, the use of vocabulary, and how they address each of the questions on the prompt. My favorite holiday as a child was celebrating Christmas on the 25th of December with my family at home. In America, where I'm from, Christmas is widely considered the most important holiday of the entire year. The night before Christmas Day, I would go to bed anxious for the arrival of Santa Claus and the many presents he'd leave my siblings and I under the enormous tree in the living room. In the morning on the 25th, we'd all get up at the crack of dawn, begging my parents to go open presents. <laughs> I remember we would surge toward the tree, excitedly opening our presents. Meanwhile, my mom made a tremendous holiday breakfast of pancakes and berries and whipped cream. During the day, We'd go ice skating on the nearby canal and meet up with neighbors and friends. Later, once I got tired, I'd stop to watch some of the local boys play hockey on the adjoining inlet. Once we got home, we'd warm up by the fireplace with some hot chocolate and gingerbread cookies. In the evening, my parents always invited the extended family over. My mother was very fastidious, and despite it being Christmas Day, we all still had to tidy up the house. Usually, my two grandparents, uncle and aunt, and three cousins would arrive around five o'clock. I cherish the memories I have of spending time with my family, telling captivating stories, and playing board games. I believe a compelling reason to have get-togethers, at least a few times every year, is to stay connected and strengthen family bonds. The culmination of the evening came with the turkey dinner prepared by my mom. The turkey was served with savory mashed potatoes, stuffing, and gravy. She also served pecan pie, which she made with my grandmother's recipe. Looking back on it now, it's getting increasingly more difficult for distant relatives to celebrate holidays together, especially with the pandemic. Consequently, I'm going to try to not take it for granted in years to come. Unequivocally, it's important to step back from study and work to celebrate holidays, to reinvigorate us and get us ready for the new year. Wow, that was a lot. If you're feeling overwhelmed or like you couldn't possibly do that, don't worry, I've been in your shoes. Please keep in mind, this is only an example of what a band nine perfect example could look like. It's important for you to practice with our sample prompts as much as you can to prepare yourself for the exam. You can practice in front of a mirror or with a friend or family member. 
Notice the varied use of vocabulary and grammatical tenses in this monologue. We used advanced words such as fastidious, captivating, culmination, unequivocally, and reinvigorate, so we can score high in the lexical resource grading rubric category. If you don't know what they mean, we have created videos for each word. Links can be found down below. Sometimes, advanced students might be tempted to include big words in their essays or speech when they aren't comfortable using them. On the IELTS exam, if you use advanced vocabulary inappropriately, points can be deducted. That said, it's useful to expand your vocabulary and start using more complex vocabulary before taking the exam. With respect to employing an array of grammatical tenses, be sure to brush up on advanced grammar topics before the exam, too. Did you notice how I used would to describe routines in the past in this talk? This is a great example of advanced English language grammar used in context. Refreshing topics like these will help you improve your speaking skills immensely. Stay tuned for a future grammar video on how to use would to describe routines in the past. Finally, in this monologue, all of the questions from the prompt are answered in detail and in a story-like manner. Thinking of the monologue as a story will help you hit all of the points and speak fluidly for two minutes. After you finish your one to two minute talk, the examiner might have one to two follow-up questions. Based on this monologue, they might ask, at what other holidays do you see your extended family? Do you have anything special for dessert following Christmas dinner? Did you celebrate Christmas last year with your extended family in spite of the pandemic? Let's look at some potential answers to these questions. At what other holidays do you see your extended family? We usually get together for Thanksgiving on the third Thursday of November and Easter Sunday. When I was little, we spent New Year's as a family, but now that my siblings and I are all adults, we prefer to spend the occasion with friends. Do you have anything special for dessert following Christmas dinner? My mom sometimes makes a Christmas log, which is a type of chocolate cake in the form of a wooden log with some decorations made of frosting. It's quite complicated to make, but given my mom's proclivity for tradition, she continues to prepare it year after year. Did you celebrate Christmas last year with your extended family in spite of the pandemic? Even though the situation hadn't ameliorated as much as this year, we got together anyway for Christmas. We were all taking prudent precautions and relatively speaking, our family is quite small. If there had been a threat of contracting coronavirus, then we wouldn't have gotten together. As you can see, even in the responses to the follow-up questions, we try to use a broad range of vocabulary and grammatical structures. Notice how in that last response, we used a hypothetical conditional sentence. These responses would surely complement your monologue and garner you a band 9 score. If you found this video useful, please give us a like and share it with your friends. How did you spend the holidays during the pandemic? Let us know in the comments below. If you'd like to be notified when the next video in this series is posted, subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell. Also, consider following us on different social media platforms. Helpo is the ideal place to find a native English speaker to help you improve the pronunciation and clarity of your spoken English. It is an online tutoring company with multiple advanced IELTS tutors who graduated from prestigious universities. If you need help preparing for the ACT, SAT, HKDSE, IELTS, or other tests, consider making an appointment at www.highhelpo.com. Alternatively, you can reach out to Helpo's team by sending us a WhatsApp message. Links to everything are below in the description. As always, have a great day and the best of luck on the IELTS.